Okay, let me just try and recap very briefly what I tried to bring to you here today. First of all, is the understanding of how dangerous it is to face someone with greater breath. How easy it is for you to be cut, and how serious it is, particularly for missing Stephen. If you are cut, what happens? And the potential of death, you know, fatal injury, massive serious injury, etc. But also to try and give you an idea that if you have to, if you have to face such a weapon, then face it in short stances, good boxing movement, covering the vital areas, and bring a lot of violence, extreme violence to that party, short, small area, target area, and that's enough to find. With no mercy, you cannot show mercy. Don't hit someone once and step back to look and see what your what your hand you work was like. Hit him, hit him, hit him again, hit him again. Don't be tempted to throw kicks and punches. Use your feet for movement. Your feet have become wheels for movement. That's what the feet are for. For moving you from one place to the other when your upper body does the work. Your cardio. Try and get yourself into a situation where you're used to confusion, you're used to change and stuff, you're used to different scenes happening very fast, hence the last exercise. So your brain is able to take all this in and you're freezing up and you still stay focused on the main event. So you had your push-ups, your sit-ups, your squat thrusts. That's all your peripheral stuff, just to confuse you, just to get the heart racing, and then back to fight, back to fight. The quicker you can do it to fight, the quicker you'll be over. You'll only always have, there's only two kinds of confrontation in your life. Then this goes right across the board. The confrontation that comes to you, or you, the confrontation that you go to, they're the only two kinds of confrontation you'll ever have. They're the only two possible. And there are two distinct and different mindsets. Confrontation comes to you, you may not expect it, you may not want it. So you have a certain mindset. The confrontation, the definition that you bring to the other party means you do want it, because you brought it there in the first place. That's a different mindset. So consider those type of things, because that's what makes the style of fight. Are there any final questions? Any divergent opinions? Anything you don't understand? And don't fight the blade if you don't have to. If you see the blade, isolate it. Don't try to fight it, isolate it, and damage the, the attacker. The maximum amount of force, minimum amount of time. Stay on your feet, stay focused. You may well survive. You will be cut. So expect to be cut. You will be cut. Somewhere in the pants, Wolf is up. Wolf is this Irish guy, always turns up and does something. You know what I'm doing? But it runs in the Irish, you know what I'm saying? But you, you expect to be cut. And if you're cut, accept it. Accept it straight away. Because once you accept it, you're going to, you're going to maintain the, uh, to some degree, your heart rate. If you don't accept it, you get worried about it. If you get worried about it, you'll breathe faster. If you breathe faster, you'll breathe faster. You come out of the hole, or a slit, or a gap, or a slash faster. So you're, you're minimizing your ability to survive. I hope that was interesting, folks. But what I wanted to do is give you the psychology of knives as well as the technique. Not, not done technique of going, block this, do that, throw and then kick it. It doesn't work with a blade, because in that fast movement, you won't even see where the blade is anymore. That's what I'm saying. Watch as much as you can where there is. Strong grip, try and park it, try and isolate it, neutralize it as much as you can, and then bam. Simple. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Thank you very much.